So a lot of people out there have like their dream cars and you know cars they buy if they had a whole lot of money. I'm gonna show you my realistic dream car. Bam! It's not mine by the way, but a white Grand Cherokee SRT. Look at the hood. So, so, the person who owns this car is probably staring at me while filming the car. This thing is so dope. It's basically mine, but like significantly cooler. Want. The struggles of not having your personal cameraman. <laughs> Two things. One, I do a whole lot of walking. Two, I need to find a more age suitable thing than this backpack. I feel like I'm like in college or high school. Does it function very well? Yes. Do I want to change it up? Yes. Yeah, I don't like walking around at almost 26 with a backpack up Jansport. There's a lot of people out there with like super cool talents you don't know about. Like people who can backflip just standing there. I think that's super cool. I'm going to show you guys the one talent that I have, which is pointless. Ninja! Why, yes, that was a very aggressive thumbnail for the video, I understand. So today, if you guys are following along this little video series where I kind of explain the conjugate method that I am doing in terms of my training, where we have maximum effort days and we have dynamic days, this is going to be my pretty typical dynamic day for bench press. So what we're doing is the beginning of the pendulum wave, 75% for uh, 10 sets of two. So again, it's not that heavy, 225 pounds for 10 sets of two. Um, now, the main purpose of this is to get more uh, time under the bar with your main movement, so your main competition grip for bench press. So you're working on speed, you're working on form, you're working on if you need to like tweak anything, this is the day that you're gonna do those things. So if you wanted to experiment with maybe different grips, you want experiments with um, different lowering speeds, different, um, you know, where you place it on your chest for the bench, now this is gonna be the day where I'm gonna work on that. And the key is to try to get faster at the movement and to get more technically correct at the movement. So I'm pretty happy with how my bench press has been going. It's slowly but surely, uh, feeling confident and that's what I want to do and something that I decided to do today was to finally work with the bands that I bought from Elite FTS um, and I set them up like this there's a lot of different ways you can set them up um, with this style of rack this was the most efficient way that I found uh, for being the first time that I set it up and originally you see how the pegs are kind of set far away I had them closer in and then I wanted more and more resistance. So only working with 185 pounds here and then I got up to 190. And we're doing sets of five and you'll notice that I'm doing a uh, close grip bench press. And the reason I'm doing this is because, you know, with the bands, with the accommodating resistance, you don't want to do your standard grip. So I'd really recommend, you know, hammering out the triceps and working on that lockout strength. And the bands are great because what they're going to do is allow you to really focus on pushing through your sticking point. So this is gonna work on the top half of the movement. So the bands towards the bottom don't add any resistance. And then once you get to the top, they're trying to pull the weight back down. And you really have to f focus on pushing through that sticking point, pushing through that lockout. So it was actually really, really cool. This is the one of the only times that I've used bands on my own. I did use them um, with Raymond when I went to uh, California. But on this last set of five, I actually uh, fail and it comes crashing down on my chest. AKA I just can't lift it off my chest, but uh, really, really like these. I think this is really going to help with my sticking point on my um, on my bench press and just you know focus on the triceps in general. And I did notice this. I don't know if this is unsafe or something. Maybe I'll uh, send an email to the company. I don't know. I just noticed it. And then we really just, uh, the rest of the workout is just going to be to get some volume in on the triceps. Um, so I did about four sets of 15 of rope extensions. And the rope extension is something that I found that is going to be the most beneficial for me because because it gives me the least amount of elbow pain. Some, I, some people use the straight bar and just do straight tricep press downs, and I cannot do those really as it does aggravate my elbows a little bit. 
Then to finish out the workout, normally what you could do is add in one more tricep movement, maybe an isolation um, exercise such as a single arm tricep extension kickback. But I decided to do some shoulders, throw in some little extra volume, so I stayed a little longer in the gym. Did some weird delt flies, which it's really important you guys work these weird delts because it's a small muscle group and they're often neglected. And then with the shoulder press again, it's working the triceps on the extension there. So I just kind of consider this my secondary tricep, but I wanted to get a little bit of uh, shoulder volume in. I think in the future, I might just focus more on side raises rather than pressing because I'm doing so much bench, press, bench pressing throughout the week. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've tried the bands and uh, I really will start using these things more in videos and showing you more in depth on how you can use these things. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you as always and I'll see you in the next one. So quickly before the video ends, I want to show you a couple more things you can use these bands for. Again, I got them from Elite FTS. Shipping was like $10, which kind of sucks. So if you need to order something else on the side, it might be beneficial to get something else if shipping is you know, $10. But if you're in a, in a, in a bit of a pickle um, and you need to do like rear lats, so you can grab the bands at the ends and just do it you know, for warm up for mobility, stretch the shoulders, the arms, the chest. But obviously, you can put them in a little closer, tension. And then you can work your rear delt like this. If this was to snap my face, that'd be the worst thing ever. But you can also put it on your foot. And if you needed to do side raises, like this, it would also work. So there's a lot of different things you could do. You could wrap this around like a, uh, a pole or a rack. And you could do face pulls like this. So there's a lot of different variations, a lot of different uses for these things. So I'm definitely glad that I have them. I really enjoyed them in my lockout work today. And I'm excited to use them in deadlifts, which I'll probably do for my next maximum effort. Deadlift will be like a sumo off the floor with banded resistance. So that'd be cool. It's accommodating resistance. It's always beneficial. It's really going to help overload the muscle. I'm glad that I finally got them. I should have gotten them a long time ago. I should have used them in my old gym. We had a bunch of bands. I was never using them. And apparently they make girls dance. So. so one thing that I am doing is, like every other day, maybe thrown in a set or two of alternating bicep curls. These are 40 pounds. You know, I'm just gonna grow the arms a little bit. Apparently, that's what all the cool kids on the internet are doing. Growing. I don't know if it's gonna catch on, but we'll see. We'll see what it's like not to have noodle arms. Like spaghetti. <laughs> One thing that I'm definitely jealous of is people who can do this thing. Like, I'm gonna look ridiculous trying this thing. Let's see. Nah. Nah. Just gotta, I got it, I got it. Stupid. <laughs> Literally just bought this sandwich. I was gonna eat it talk to you guys but my brother like texts me as I'm waiting for the sandwich like, hey man we'll get some food I said you know what I'll save the sandwich for tomorrow let's go get some food so instead of the Jimmy John sub we decided to come to this place called fireworks and we each got custom pizzas my bro hammer what'd you get it's a uh, mushroom pepperoni and chicken extra sauce. He got 10 inch pizza. I got a 14 inch pizza, chicken and pineapple. This has been delicious. I'm gonna crush this whole thing. So some of y'all have asked what scale I have. I have, this is Walmart brand, okay? This is the mainstays brand. It was like $20. I've had this thing for like four years, three, at least three years, probably three and a half, four years. It has never failed me. I've changed the batteries maybe twice on it, but yeah, I don't use any sort of fancy scale. I like it with a little bit of a lip so I can set a plate and then uh, see the scale or see the numbers there. But yeah, like 20 bucks at Walmart. This thing has bad reviews on Amazon, but I have never had an issue with it ever. And I've never broken it, so Walmart. <sighs> All right, so back home, it was a delicious pizza. Ate the entire thing. Well, I did get Chase one piece, but that's all right. Um, so now I get ed edit up a video for the next video. Um, I wanted to briefly talk about balance because a lot of people will always say, like, I don't have time to go to the gym. I don't have time to do this. I don't have time to do that. You all have time. Every single person who you see doing all these cool things or, like, doing big things or making moves, you know, they find time of the day to do everything. Um, 
we all have the same 24 hour clock. It, you know, what you decide to use that time for is up to you. If you really want to make something happen, you really want to do something, you will do it because you will make the time. You will find the time to make the time. You'll move things that are not as important out of the way and you'll do things that are actually important to you that you care about that you want to make time for. So find out what's actually important to you and do it. Like edit videos. <laughs> Also, let me know down below which colors you guys would like most for uh, the next launch there. We have this cool red, the purple, and the, the yellow. I'm thinking about bringing back the mint classic. And then this is the kind of the steel blue cursive one. So let me know, and thank you for watching the video, guys.